Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell so you're always updated on our next video releases. Welcome to our second video on gaming. If you haven't watched the first part, go ahead and watch it up here. In part one, we talked about how some gaming videos require a lot of editing and some require little editing. One popular type of gaming video that requires an intense amount of editing is the gaming montage. Montages are one part music video and one part sizzle reel. You basically put together your gaming footage with a great song and show off all of your coolest moments. There are two types of editing techniques that are essential for pulling off a montage. One is editing to the beat and the other is speed control. First, you wanna start with a song that has a strong beat. Before you drag it into your timeline in Filmora, right click on it and choose beat detection. Wait for the process to finish, and then when you drag it into your timeline, the beats will have already been marked. However, you might have some specific impactful beats or moments in your mind you want to feature in your video. In that case, it might be better to skip the beat detection and mark your moments manually. You can add markers by selecting your audio clip and then moving the playhead to the place where you want to add your marker. And then click the marker icon in the timeline toolbar. Once your audio is set up with markers, drag a clip into the timeline that includes a really cool moment. For example, this could be the second when you defeat your enemy, or win the game. Drag your clip so that the cool moment footage aligns with the beat marker. Your finished video will have a whole lot of cool moments all lined up to the beat markers. One thing to keep in mind when turning a gaming clip into a montage is that you want all the key moments of your clip, for example, when you land a really good attack, to line up with the beat of the music. To make this happen if you have an ongoing clip, you're going to want to speed up the content between the two key moments. Make a cut after your first big moment and then another right before the second big moment begins. Move that middle part up into a higher track and then align your second moment to the beat. Once that's done, look at the duration of time between the two key moments, and then change the duration of the clip between them to be the same. Just select it, click the speed gauge icon, and then choose custom speed. You'll be able to enter the exact duration you want to have and the speed will adjust accordingly. Here's an extra tip. Some gamers also choose to further emphasize their big moments by adding effects like glitches or shakes. We talked a lot in these two videos about the common types of gaming videos and how to pull them off. But the truth is, possibilities are endless. You can essentially make any type of video with gaming footage, and there's so many people out there who are super creative and coming up with their own unique style. Thank you so much for watching. Keep sharing your tips and tricks on gaming videos in the comment section below, and let us know what kind of tutorials you want to see next. Is there another popular video genre that you want us to talk about? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep creating, bye.